Hello, welcome to Writings from the Hills. I'm Lori, and this week we are spotlighting a book called Working It Off in Labor County by Larry D. Thacker. And I know on the description on the front, um, it says this collection's a keeper, worthy of shelf space between Larry Brown and Merle Haggard. Now this book is um, a collection of short stories about a fictional small community in the mountains of southeastern Kentucky called Labor County. And although the residents may be short on cash, they are rich in creativity and tirelessly inventive as they concoct new schemes to make ends meet, settle all scores, and work off their debts to society in a way to themselves. Um, this is 228 pages. It came out in 2021, so a very recent book. And I am going to read a chapter called About Levi. Aubrey, you can either get over here and get Levi away from the funeral home, or I swear to God, I'll call the sheriff this time. Now, I've been patient. Aubrey huffed. Fine, fine. I'll be right over. Give me a minute. She figured the boy was out getting into something since Levi wasn't home when she got there. The funeral home was as good a place as any to cause her a pain in the ass. It was a Monday, after all. When she pulled up alongside the Ellison and Sons funeral parlor, Levi was sitting on the side steps with his head resting in his hands, looking pretty depressed. The funeral director, Jason, one of the Ellison brothers, and an old boy Aubrey dated once or twice back in school, was standing and glaring over Levi, as if the kid might take off running like an escaped animal if he took his eyes off of him. Jason walked over, and Levi waited on the steps, defeated. Aubrey, this is the third time, he yelled in a controlled whisper, trying not to alarm anyone milling about at the reception of friends still going on for old man Miller. Levi had interrupted the whole gathering when he had broken out speaking in tongues up in front of the crowd after standing in line to shake the newly widowed Mrs. Miller's hand. Jason, do I look like I need any more of a hard time than what I'm about to deal with at home? Now what happened? By the time Jason had managed to grab Levi by the collar to drag him out, the ten-year-old had already, already about to start laying hands on people for a good old-fashioned healing service. Jason had shushed him, shushed him the best that he could as the crowd giggled both of them down an aisle and out to the building despite the solemn occasion. Another minute or two and the boy would have had the whole place wrapped around his finger. Those that wouldn't have damned him, of course. Things go both ways around here. Everybody in town pretty much knew Levi, or at least about Levi and his issues. And if everyone knew about Levi, then they had to opi had an opinion on his single mother, Aubrey, too. Well, um, Jason said, calming down and slipping back into his use, using his old pet name for her. If you need any help with things, you just let me know, you hear? He had liked nothing more than to get a call from her, him married now or not. A bad shiver danced down Aubrey's spine. She wasn't sticking around for the second longer. Old Jason was creepier than ever, especially as an undertaker. How's your wife, Cindy? Levi, let's go. Jason smirked, but pert firmly in his place. Fine. I'll tell her hey for you. And Levi got into the car. Aubrey tried getting Levi to talk on the way home, annoyed with her son, but too worn out to fuss much. How many times had she been called out to get the boy from some place he was making a scene? Happened again, didn't it, honey? He nursed his usual nosebleed now, head back, finger pressing a fast food napkin along one nostril, his voice snazzily. Yeah. You couldn't just go straight home from school? Wasn't that our agreement? Straight home, make a sandwich, watch some TV. Sorry, Mama. I was almost home, but I sort of wandered into the funeral home. I heard music. There was a big crowd today, and I could hear a lot of voices in there. Mr. Miller was a nice man, yes, baby. I wish Mr. Ellison hadn't got so mad. I hate to I upset him. I only wanted to help. I know you did. You always want to help. You do. She stroked the hair off his damp forehead, dabbed his nose with a blank napkin, 
and checked out for more fresh blood. It wasn't quite stopping. Lots of people need help, sweetie, but they all can't get into it at once. They get scared easily, or too curious. We talked about that before, coming back to Labor Town, remember? Well, that's just the beginning of the story, the chapter on about Levi. There is a wonderful collection of short stories. This is Working It Off in Labor County by Larry D. Thacker. And if you would like to borrow this, just go to our website at www.brigslibrary.com to request a copy or call any of our locations, and I will see you next time.